Hey everyone, uh, this is <laughs> the result of a massive mountain build that I was doing uh, using an automated clock right right there at the top of the world. You can barely see it. Uh, this is the mountain that it generated. You can see the edges have been flattened. Uh, the reason for that is uh, the chunks past that point hadn't been loaded in, so nothing was being calculated. Uh, and you get flat sides on, on those parts. I, I'll show that, that to you in, in just a sec. But yeah, this is the mountain. Let me <laughs> give you a closer look so that you can see exactly what's going on. Uh, this is all water cascading down. It's It, it just got flushed for the last time. Uh, the way that it was generated was by alternating lava and water uh, flowing down the sides of this, this massive thing. Uh... So yeah, here's the base. Uh, I'll show you the the chunk error um, here on the side. See, it's all flat and sheared off. Uh, but now let me show you. Oh man, that's so cool. Anyway, uh, now let me show you the uh, the rest of this thing. <laughs> How long it takes to uh, get to the top just in flying mode. Um, Wow. Okay, so this thing was generated, uh, like I was saying, uh, with lava and water, uh, and there's this big timing mechanism uh, to control the flow. Uh, I'll, I'll release a schematic of this, uh, so I won't talk too much about that. But I was just wanting to show off the, the mountain and how ridiculously <laughs> massive this thing is. This is just a survival uh, server. Uh, I'm in this flying mode just to show this thing off, but um, yeah, you could do this in, in whatever. It just takes, I don't know, like uh, 12 pistons, some glowstone, uh, and some redstone, uh, and a lava and water source block. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed. Uh, check out the other videos or schematics to see more about the timing mechanism. Take care.